before we get started, here are the tools you'll need to upgrade your MC propeller meter from mechanical to digital. Next, open your Flowcom upgrade kit. Inside, you'll find the following. Your prop sensor, Flowcom mounting base plate, bag with O-rings and hardware required for the proper sealing, and your magnetic wands for in-field programming. You will also have your pushing and of course your pre-wired Flowcom unit. Also included is your parts list, quick installation instructions, and your certified test report from the factory. So here is a view of all the items included in your Flowcom upgrade kit. So let's get started. First, remove the tamper seal and then the bolts from around the canopy of your mechanical register. Next, remove the canopy enclosure and set it aside. Pro tip, turn the canopy upside down and use it as a parts bucket as you continue your upgrade. Remove the dry pack and prepare to loosen the pal nut and spin the mechanical register until it becomes loose and can be removed. Next, pull out the drive cable. Next, we'll remove the bushing. Now, the bushing is usually tightly threaded, so remove that with the impact driver if a wrench cannot loosen it. Remove the mechanical register base plate. Now that the mechanical register is removed, let's move on to the prop. Carefully loosen the bearing from the L of the pipe. Once loose, you can remove by simply hand twisting. Next, take the aft out of the bearing and now we will remove the cable liner. If it doesn't remove easily, you can knock it loose with a small mallet or screwdriver. Remove the old O-rings from the tip of the L. Now you're ready to upgrade to digital. First, replace the O-rings on the tip of the L with the new ones provided in the kit. Ensure they are seated correctly into the groove. Place the prop sensor in the back of the bearing housing where you remove the aft bearing from. Run the cable up the L until it protrudes from the top of the saddle. Add Loctite prior to reassembling the bearing onto the L. Use your hand to tighten the bearing back into place. Use a wrench to tighten if needed, but do not over tighten. Simply make sure there's a secure fit. Next, we will mount the Flowcom digital register. Place bushing, pal nut, and O-rings onto the Flowcom mounting base plate. Feed the wiring through the plate and the mount with a touch of Loctite to ensure a tight seal. Screw into place by hand and make sure to get the bolt alignment straight according to how you want the display to read. Gather excess wiring and place it down into the neck and the convex portion of the mounting base plate. Tighten down the bushing. Again, ensure that the bolt holes align for your desired display position on the Flowcom unit. After tightening the bushing, check that the mounting base plate has no areas in which could allow ingress for water. Next, grab the Flowcom unit and place the large O-ring into the machined groove on the underside of the Flowcom digital register. Now, let's wire your Flowcom to the prop sensor. Match the wiring by color, red to red, black to black, and green to green. Next, tighten the terminal block to ensure a secure connection. Pro tip, give a slight tug to ensure it's secure. Now, place the Flowcom unit on top of the mounting base plate, and then use the supplied bolts to secure your register on the saddle. Now, 
give your prop a spin and ensure everything is hooked up correctly when you see the Flowcom register. There, we're all done. Now you're ready to begin digitally measuring your flow.